hey what's up guys welcome to another episode on LGBT stack so guys in today's video we'll be creating a custom inline lighting functionality uh, in a lightning web component actually i was having one of these strange requirement in which you know the requirement was to create an inline functionality but it was just only for one field for a single field it should show like user can edit the inline functionality and for other fields the value should be the output fields only so it should not be changed so guys uh, to solve this requirement i created some custom functionality you know just to create a inline edit for one of the field on my lightning web component okay so let me show you the output first so right this is the output of my lightning web component as you can see here i'm having a static text and this name is a dynamic value okay and uh, beside that you may see a pencil icon okay and while you will click on this pencil icon it says update first name and when you will click on it so this will be converted into a input and you may change the value here like this and the value will be saved automatically like this okay so guys uh, let me explain the functionality to you uh, so uh, let me start with the javascript or maybe the HTML, html part let's go with the html part first so guys, this is my custom html component in which i'm just using pure javascript css you must notice uh, inline css somewhere and i'm just using normal html tag so guys here uh, what, what I did here actually I'm just having a variable on the JavaScript side which is edit first name just to display the input and the normal the label output value on the click of that label and this is my value for first name and underneath that you may see a lightning button icon so for that pencil icon I'm using lightning button icon and on this lightning button icon my button icon name is edit. Uh, so I'm using the default utility icons added and on the click of this button I'm using handle first name added function okay let me go to that function once so this is my handle first name added and on this function I'm just uh, assigning the added first name as true okay so when this added first name will be true it will just trigger the second block if uh, true if the added first name is true so in the second block guys I'm having a lightning input and in this lightning input I'm having the same value what I was having uh, in in this static value so I'm having first name here and on change of this input I'm just assigning the input value to this specific parameter variable and underneath that I'm having another lightning button icon which is for to display the save icon and the save icon will be displayed when the added icon will be hidden so it will be displayed on the case of click of that pencil icon so in the save icon guys i'm using handle update first name function and in this handle update first name guys so basically here i'm using uh, ui record apis i'm using update record function here just to update the field so to update the record i'm just having my contact id first name of contact and i'm passing my fields and i'm calling the update record and i'm passing my record input here okay and if it get updated successfully then I'm just assigning false again in that edit first name field and if it will throw an error then it will just go to this error block apart from these in my JavaScript file I'm having a uh, few other things as well like I'm having a, a function to retrieve a contact from the apex the function name is get single contact okay and I'm using it from this contact controller in this contact controller guys I'm just having a simple so cool just to retrieve account ret sorry retrieve a contact from the object itself and after retrieving a contact I'm assigning a value using the connected callback which is the initialization of this component so in your case you may be having a, having values in maybe some other functions as well or maybe using some other functionality or maybe some other components you can be you can have values in your component and you can use this functionality you know just to provide some kind of look alike of inline editing functionality 
okay and here i'm just sending value to contact id and the first name and same for the error block so guys here to give the inline editing use i'm just using some css here you may see the css here in this line number 10 so i'm using border bottom and i'm assigning value uh, one one pixels and the border type is dotted and the color is black so guys using this border bottom functionality we are getting this kind of look here you may see the bottom border here uh, underneath this name field so that's how this uh, border bottom is getting generated just so you know give a, give a look and feel of of a kind of a inline functionality so that's why i i designed it okay so guys uh, that's how you may use the inline functionality here and this is the complete uh, this is the width of this component section so you may increase or maybe decrease the width as, as per your requirement let me show it to you and for this lightning button icon i'm just using uh, slds float right here because you know it should display on the right side of the text so basically it's pure html javascript and css nothing else and for the update functionality i have just used the uh, update record here so let's say you want to edit something just change the name save it and the input will be uh, input will be hidden again and you will see the output text and let me just reload the page just to show like how update is working so after reloading the page you may notice the updated value here so it means the update record is also working fine okay well i don't know like whether some whether uh, i mean you know, you, know uh, you will be getting these kind of strange requirement or not but you know i have this and i thought it is worth sharing with you guys so that's why i'm sh sharing it here and guys uh, also i will be having complete code on my blog which is salesforcebold.com so if you need complete code you may just go directly to my blog and check it out and feel free to modify it as per requirement okay and if you like today's video guys and subscribe to the channel will be awesome i'll see you in the next one thanks for watching